Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sun here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Mega Man X2. We are starting the X Hunter stages. We are fully prepared, stocked up on good weapon energies, and uh, now it's time to just get things started here. So we got another stage where we're basically going down, down, down. I kind of like it. I like it going down in stages, down into the right or down to the left. It really requires a big map screen to create a stage like that, but, eh. What the hell am I talking about? Jeez, I don't know. Anyway, it's a pretty... See, these stages are actually really simple. I don't have any problems with any of them, really. The only problems I have... Oh, crap. I might be dead here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, so they have their moments, yes, but, you know, it's not so bad. guy down here. <laughs> Just let the wheels do the work. Let the wheels do the talking. Here we go. Another simple one. There's one of these that's actually really hard coming up later on. And, uh... No, I'm not going over there. I know you want me to, but I'm not. Let me switch back to, uh... Yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot. This guy really wants me over there. But I don't want to go over there. You're just twisting my arm. So, let's make our way. Okay, now this is the part right here. This can be a little tricky, but let's just do it. So once it comes over this way, jump to the other side. That way you can... There we go. We did it. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I was a little worried about that, but... Eh, nothing to be scared of. Alright. Okay, we're the first boss already? Damn! Now, you don't have to fight Mavericks in the middle of these stages. This game actually goes back to the old Mega Man formula and makes you fight them all at once in a single room with warps that go to eight of them. Oh, look who it is! Our old nemesis. But this time, guess what? We have your weakness, bitch. So, yeah. Well, that worked out pretty well, huh? Yeah, I guess if you just keep moving, that really is all the key. It does have a way of kind of chasing you. Man, does it go fast, too. Shit. I just like to stand right in front of him and just pound him with it. It seems to be, like, the best thing to do. You're gonna get your energy filled back in the next stage anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Just nail him before he gets you. What? How could he have overloaded my circuit? Ah! I can't see anything. Fire anyway! Oh. Okay, so, wow, three minutes is all that took? Jeez. They're getting... You're slacking on us here. You're slacking, Sigma. You're gonna have to get some, uh, better stages than that if you want to stop me. So. That's the first of the four. Now, as for, as for usual, it doesn't matter much if you write down these passwords, because... Well, no matter which password you put in, you're gonna start back at the first of the four stages. There is no password for starting at the second, third, fourth stages. So don't even bother. Okay, I guess this stage has its moments, too. Has its moments, not his. The stage is not a male, I don't think. Of course, only a male would be this much of a pain in the ass, right? Ugh. Oh, I can hear the ladies swooning now. What, well, must you torture me with so much praise? Look at this, man, what am I doing? Ugh, okay. Now we're... We're gonna get through this one way or another. We'll get the lid on this somehow. Maybe I should try charging up, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. And we'll just let her loose on the way down here. Yeah, that's more like it. Now, okay, this is a little bit tricky. Whoa, whoa, dude, don't commit suicide here. You gotta use these little floating walls. Oh, I should... Ah! Okay, good. <laughs> thought I'd miss my chance. Okay, this is a little tricky. Because, um... At first, it's not too bad, you just get on top of it, but then you gotta climb back down the other side in order to, uh... You gotta jump it just right. This, you probably just wanna hang out down here until the wall gets to you, and then stand on top of it. This here, I'd rather just take the hits than to try to be climbing up and down this thing, because, let's face it, I'm not much of an acrobat. Why did I switch to that? I have no idea. What we really need to do is switch to Crystal, so that we can hit these guys to get across this thing. Oh, with 
wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not. Now this here, you can mow down with the wheel gator. And, uh, oh, and you die. Is this where you get the thing? I think it is. I'm a little worried if it is, because I'm not prepared for that. Like, I didn't get to practice that at all. Okay, so my guess is that you have to use this to actually get across this, but I haven't done this before. Oh, that's just a one-up. Okay, never mind. I thought that uh, that was where you went to get the shore you can. You know, on the last game it was the Hadouken. Well, this game it's the shore you can. And yes, I use the save state, so soon. I don't want to go through that freaking stage over and over again. Besides, I was just going to cut back where I was anyway. Might as well save myself the time. I mean, I guess part of the comedy in cuts is that you know I had to go through all the trouble of getting through the stage again. And if I don't, you know, whatever. Anyway. So get your, um, thing ready to go here. And, uh, you can pretty much just wipe these things out one at a time with it. Well, they really only take one shot. What are you doing, dude? Get back. Ugh. Platforms weren't there for me. They betrayed me. Now, the second part of the stage is extremely difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, you want to stay on top. Like, pick a... Well, you know, either top or bottom. Stay on one side. Because if you don't, these fireballs, they're really predictable. Basically, the first one goes in an X pattern, one goes in a plus pattern. So all you gotta do is watch, you know, and you know which one's gonna do what. But, um, it's still extremely difficult to avoid if you don't stay on top. I mean, I guess you can stay on the bottom. You can also, like, there's a safe spot here where you can just stand right here and pretty much just spam this. And, uh, you won't be able to do a thing. Well, why is my... There we go. Yeah. So you could just stand right here and spam this. And, well, you wouldn't always be able to hit him, but sometimes, maybe... I suppose if you jumped and did it, yeah. So I guess that's that's kind of a cheap way that you could do it. Well, he'll still get you sometimes with the X's, but yeah, no problem. But if you stay on the elevator, so stay towards the top. It doesn't do any good to hang around on the bottom because you have to jump to get from one elevator to the other sometimes. And you might just jump right into the shots, but if you stay on top, it's easy enough to tell where they are, where they're going to be, and all that jazz. So yeah. <coughs> And, of course, that was Surges, the second, or one of the other X-Hunters, obviously. You're fighting the three of them again. His violin was pretty much the same as before. I don't know why. The other two actually have different forms. So, yeah. Anyway, I reckon we'll try to make our way into the third stage here as much as we can. Uh, I really like the music in this third stage, by the way. It's awesome. It's hard for music to be, like, really ominous, yet really urgent at the same time. And this music seems to captivate both emotions, sort of encapsulate something. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. I love not being able to think of the word, though, because it means that you're pretty much overtaken by the music, which is good. So, yeah, it appears that there's a number of different ways to go here, but these are just pits, so it looks like they're passages, but they're not. So you come up here and you got an elevator here. This is kind of annoying, actually. Because you gotta, you gotta time your jumps just right. So if you just press the jump button really light, oh, we didn't even need that one. What the hell? Haha, <laughs> I was saving that one just for you, buddy. Ooh, energy. Don't think I want it. Yeah, but pretty much you can just keep changing this as much as you want. And, uh, and try to hang on to this elevator as long as you can. I'm pretty sure if you're going up and the elevator. Whoa! Bumps you into a wall. Shit. Oh, I think we could be in trouble. Let's try that again. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Yeah, it's pretty much just come up with it, and then right, and then down, left, up again, and uh, right, and then. Shit. See, now you can't jump, so you have to go off of it and get back on again. Shit. Ah! Uh, yeah. Shoot, I just got it stuck. You know what? We're going to do this next time on Let's Play Mega Man X2. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.